Welcome back! With another loyalty mission done, it's time to do an, a few more side quests. We are currently in... the region of the Citadel, actually. There's a planet left here. What? That technically named at Hoft? If they if that was the impression then the apostrophe is in if, if if that was the intention then the apostrophe is in the wrong place. <laughs> Should be uh, before the T, because it would be a contraction of het hoft. Contracted to Uthoft, which you do use in Dutch, that way of uh, contracting it, but uh, still in the wrong place. Also, Hoft is with a D. Anyway. But I guess it could be Old Dutch. It might have been spelled with a T at some point. Um, that's not really important. There's our remaining plant, kind of obvious. Don't know why I had trouble spotting that. Anyway. No side quests here, of course, because the Citadel is here. And we do have stuff to do there, but not quite yet. Only half our fuel remains. I will be getting to that soon though. Relatively soon. It's one other loyalty mission I want to do before heading to the Citadel. Um, mass Relay. Alright, um, let's see. I want to go to the Eagle Nebula, but... Ah, there it is. Because there should be some stuff to do here. Looks like we've been here before. But apparently I did not mark any of the planets here, so let's do that now. Let's see if we can find some uh, thing to do here. There's quite a few systems, in fact. Anomaly detected. Wow, right in one. Cold and dry, Nath has a thin nitrogen atmosphere and vast salt flats at its equator, which is warm enough for liquid water to pool during the summer period. The revealed salt is collected and sold to sodium poor planets for agricultural purposes. During the Anhar rebellions, Neef was a staging ground for eclipse ships and was the site of their first defeat, when enemy Nahisit surprised and routed them with superior force. Some wreckage from the battle can still be found on the planet today. Status of system operator is not known. General distress. Beacon process interrupted. Translation error. Launching probe. Some kind of distress signal. I have found something. Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter. Configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement, but no signs of organic life. Let's go check it out. Um, let's take a look. I'm not sure. I think I know what this is, but... I'm not sure who would be a good idea to 
take. Um, I think Tali might be a good option along with... Let's take Thane. One point! Nope, gonna wait until I've got four. Thane is eight points, but he still needs loyalty, and Tali has two, which I can't do anything with. Why are we being told that by the shuttle VI when we usually get told things like that by ED? There's stuff lying behind us here. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. Obviously a ship crashed. And we'd better find out what went on there. Why it crashed. If there's any survivors. Well, we better do so before that sandstorm hits. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. So far, no sign of any hostile activity. Keep checking my radar. Attention all hands. We are on a collision course and losing systems fast. Report to the escape pods immediately. This is not a drill. It's not? Obviously. Because otherwise they wouldn't have crashed. Apparently I don't need Metagel. They were carrying reflective mech armor X6378. Loki mechs. Oh wait, uh, 14 crates of reflective mech armor from Jarahi Station. Destination for an ERCS facility. They're also carrying 180 Loki mechs and one Ymir mech. Hmm. I have a hunch about the signs of movement that we detected here. Where are those damaged mech parts? I mean, I... Oh! On the floor! A signal transmitter is transmitting signals. I guess that's the, uh... Distress beacon! Trenton, we've got a problem in the cargo bay. Marcus says the mechs in the containers are activating and self-destructing. That's, uh, not a good thing, I suppose. Is that what went wrong here? Something went wrong with the mechs. I'm just checking if there's more resources. Not that I can see nearby. There are power cells, though. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. Okay, now we get to go back. Sleep now. But this time. Requesting assistance. There is a little bit more resistance this time. Nice. More mechs incoming. Um, well done, Tali. One pause. Impact event. Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility to 90%. Proceed to shuttle for evacuation. It's, um, getting windy and stuff. 
and our visibility is dropping as well. And there's the Emirmac. another proper headshot on one of those, which will hopefully take out a couple more mechs. I think that's actually relatively similar to uh, what it looks like when you fire the cane. Oh, there's more button in there. appropriate thing to say to a mech. shot both of his arms off? I think I did. I think at this point it's just a matter of getting to the shuttle. Shield down! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just need to get into the shuttle. No need to waste another metagel. Mission summary. We found no survivors in MSV Corsica wreckage. We deactivated the stress beacon. Experience. 6,000 credits. 2,000 platinum. And I think we may have gotten a. Uh, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Exactly. MSV Corsica, last known docking coordinates from ED. Information acquired. Location coordinates: Jarahi Station, Strabo System, Eagle Nebula. Data mining confirms the last reported location of merchant freighter MSV Corsica as the Jarahi Station in the Strabo System. Possibility existed clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard Corsica can be found aboard Jarahi Station. I guess we'd better go check that out then. That's in the neighborhood. But let's first get some of these planets. Alright, there's Jarahi Station. 
Site intel retrieved. Location coordinates, Jarahi Station Strabo system. I think uh, this is actually the same thing that was in the message we got from Edie. Well, let's see if we can find out what happened with the mechs. Um, let's take Morden and Kasumi. Kasumi's got her loyalty power now and a flashbang grenade. Let's give her some points in that. Works similar to the flashbang grenades the um, mercs on her loyalty mission used against us. So, very annoying. But not all that damaging. Let's actually do, so do some damage as well. Uh, more dense weapons and everything. That's all fine. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Our journal entry for this is immediately escape, rather than investigate what happened. Station of locked by station VI. Hmm. Nice view, but not helpful. Refined iridium there. How do I get there? Dr. Galwind, at my suggestion we have cut power to all systems save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own. Dr. Tilson. Okay. Looks like the VI went berserk, to berserk and killed everyone. Always nice. Okay, we need Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. Uh, do you mind if I don't? Well, I guess you would mind. We needed that to get this door open. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. Power outage detected in the station. Mainframe is locked down for security purposes. Oh. So we can't get in here. Was this the source of the thing that caused the mech to go the mechs to go crazy or something else? Uh, let's see, Dr. Galwind. My firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to just do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. Dr. Tilson. Okay, well that didn't work out. See if we can find a way to um, undo that lockdown. Living quarters here, apparently, according to the sign. Attention all docks personnel. We are exper expecting a shipment of mech parts from a Hain Kedar faci facility on KPEC, Haskins Titan Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept a docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. Kennings. Well, that confirms that the um, Corsica has been here, but we don't know if it brought the infection here or if it got the infection from here. Either way, there's uh, now another place we can go. 
to find out, which is the Hain Kedar facility. Or Han Kedar facility, I'm not entirely sure. Living area power restored. But the living area doors have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct procedures to avoid death by starvation. The eye is very helpful, isn't it? Can't get out. Find another way. This is a diagram indicating which doors are locked and which are open. Currently, only one is open. Two doors enabled. All doors disabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Okay, that was mostly by accident. But at least we've uh, enabled the power hub here, so that was hopefully one of the steps we needed to get into uh, the mainframe. We also opened this room now. It seems that there's some stuff for us to take. Whatever happened here, they were definitely not in time to do anything about it. Because it doesn't look like there's any survivors. All intruders intentionally violating quarantine are requested to exit the station immediately. Yeah, not likely. Engineering. Oh, right. This bit. Now I'm telling you to stay oh, here. Indeed. And I'd prefer it if you did. I know you're not going to listen, are you? Venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. Because you will take damage and die if you stand in those things, and your crewmates are terrible at that. They're also otherwise uh, completely useless here, so. Kennings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Tilson is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on that ship. Dr. Galwind. Okay, so it sounds like the Corsica may have been the source of the infection, so that suggests we need to visit that Han Kedar facility. Wait, was there something? Ah, no. Looks like there was something there, but... There is a high probability that you or your equipment will infect the station. This cannot be allowed to happen. Oh, great. I told you not to follow me. Gotcha. Finding cover. They sort of teleported here. Hopefully we can do this without them dying. Station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. So is it really a good idea to be restoring power then, if that's true? Maintenance area power restored. And that also turns off the venting for some reason. If they had followed you and they did die, don't bother wasting a metagel because, well, you'll just use it and then they'll die again. But if they did die, they will come uh, come back after you disable the vents. So I guess now is a better time to check if I missed anything here. Oh wait, that was just a PDA I was seeing again through the wall there. Because of course that doesn't go away. Well, I think there's one more area. Research lab. Indeed. Uh, Here we go. You're allowed to follow me again, actually. Oh. And they teleported again. I'm sure turning this on will lock us in here again. Research area power restored. Yep. Beam engaged. Test 
testing area has been locked down according to protocol M29-2. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. That's kind of impossible, because you've just locked us in here. We're doing research here of some kind. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oh, it looks like we can direct this thing. Wow, this this is like a portal style puzzle, isn't it? Reflective armor prototype repositioned. But what can we do with that? Looks like the beam is being generated by that thing. Maybe if we hit that, it will turn off. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Does this work? No, missing. We're still missing it. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Yes, I know. I'm doing it. Prototype Already got that one, so Reflective Armor Prototype repositioned. Testing area has been unlocked. There, turns the beam off and apparently All personnel take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. That unlocked the door. Let's see if now we can get into this place. Hub area power restored. Central mainframe access granted. Docked vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessel's mainframe. Um, that's not a good thing. We don't want that. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. Deactivated Jarahi Station security protocols. Escape the station. 7,500 credits and 2,000 iridium. Well, not an awful lot to do here for our crewmates. Except die in that one corridor. <laughs>